Well, the winter-like feel that we had over the weekend, that's going to continue as we go through the start of this work week. Flurries across the area this morning that has left a light dusting on some of the grass and the elevated surfaces. And we're going to keep some flurries and snow showers around today. We've got an upper-level load that's spinning across portions of Michigan, basically centered over Lake Michigan this morning. You can see that area of spin on the radar, and that area is going to continue to drop southeast throughout the day. So again, this is really going to be the lifting mechanism for more snow showers. And there will be the potential for very light accumulations off and on today as well. It'll probably be one of those days like we kind of get in the summertime where you get a little burst of snow and then it stops, maybe get a couple peaks of sun, and then maybe another hour later, another snow shower comes through, coats the grass, and then it melts. So it'll kind of be that situation today where it's not, it's not steady snow, but it's these brief little bursts of snow to hit here and there as we go throughout the course of our Monday. All thanks to, again, this upper level load. It's diving down from the Great Lakes. It's providing not only the cold weather with it, but it's also providing that lift that we need for snow showers. You can see how this trough starts to shift east of us by tomorrow. That will end. Once this backside of the trough lifts through, we're done with snow showers and flurries, and we'll see a quieter trend going into the middle part of the work week. Temperatures this morning, they are chilly, 32 for most locations, and don't expect any big warm-up today. Looking at the wind chill, it does feel like 23 in Van Wert and Salina. It feels like 21 in Paulding, 25 it feels like in Lima. So today's forecast, a very winter-like one. Flurries and then we'll have pockets of snow showers. Temperatures upper 20s by 8 a.m. and then mid-30s once we get into the course of the afternoon. And overall, these snow showers that we see will really just be sticking to the grass the elevated surfaces. If we get under a heavier burst, it can't be ruled out that it could stick to the roads, but it would have to come down pretty hard to do so. For the most part, roadways will be okay. And we notice how the snow showers tend to flare up a bit more, beginning to that peak heating of the day. So we'll see some of these pockets of snow, maybe even what we call snow squalls, basically just a brief burst of heavier snow that will lower visibility as you are traveling about the area later this afternoon. Here's 530. Again, a few pockets of snow, especially off to the northeast toward Finley. And then overnight, as we head into the evening hours, some more scattered snow showers. They're very localized, so not everybody getting in on the activity this evening, but we will have colder temperatures in play, so there will be the possibility where they do develop. We could see some isolated slick spots as a result of those snow showers. And then as we get past midnight, everything starts to taper away. And then looking at tomorrow, just a breezy cold day, a few peaks of sunshine, but we should be on the drier side. And we'll have high pressure settle in tomorrow night, clearing the clouds out of here. Wednesday, a beautiful sunny day, light wind. So Wednesday, I would call the pick of the week, although Thursday will actually be warmer in the 50s, but we'll have a gusty southwest wind, increasing clouds. And then by Thursday evening, we'll start to see a few showers and we'll have scattered showers on Friday. This does not look like a big rain event at all, but it does look like we're going to have a big temperature drop as we head into Friday night and Saturday, a blast of some very chilly weather once again. In fact, it could be even colder than what we're going through right now. So the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook shows basically the entire low, lower 48. It's going to be running colder than average. So a lot of change from what we were dealing with over, you know, in February when we had so many days in the 50s and 60s. We knew winter would catch up with us, and here we are. We do get two days, though, of warmer weather, Thursday and Friday, before we come crashing back down. A high on Saturday, only 32 degrees.